Hey guys, welcome back to episode 2 of Let's Design a Game. Um, in this one, I'm basically drawing an animation for uh, this, this monster thing that I've named Grendel. And uh, this is basically the first animation you'll see when you, when you stumble upon him. Uh, and he, this is like his like transformation, if you want to call it that. And yeah, um, it's uh, at, at the end of the video, I kind of like, or towards the end, I try to end it. And then I decided later to basically uh, add on some gameplay footage so you can see the final result um, instead of extending the series or this part into the rest of the series. Um, and yeah, so if you want to see that, you can stay till the end uh, or you can just skip to the end to see that, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching.
I've already looked at it in Framer. It looks pretty good. It's not perfect, but there, uh, I, I plan on uh, working on it for a while now. Um, I should warn you, I'm not very good at drawing and talking at the same time. <laughs> I've tried it a few times, and uh, I've even tried to make videos like that, but I've ended up deleting them all. <laughs> um, so here I'm just going to add a little bit more of the uh, kind of weird uh, grossness that makes up this guy. Um, and you can kind of see where this animation is going uh, pretty clearly, but I guess I, I I guess I'll say this is basically the first animation you'll see when you see him. So he plays this, and yeah. But I don't want to spoil too much of him uh, before we we know too much on the game yet. So I'll I'll leave it at that. So I'll add some more of these um, I guess hairy things. Yeah. Um, up here it's a little less clear. As his head lifts up, you can see kind of a uh, the darker part underneath his head, where his neck would kind of be, but it's kind of weirdly, uh, I don't know, floating a little bit. But yeah. No, it's it's weird when doing animation videos like this. I mean, I could talk about like 12 principles of animation or something, but there are a million videos on YouTube that do that, so I don't really feel like I need to. Um, here. Darken in some of these places. But yeah, and then once I'm happy with this, I'll import this into Framer, and then we'll take a look at the final result. Um, although this is actually, this won't be the final final result, since I'm going to add another probably five or six animation, or frames after that. So yeah, I'm going to call it good. So let's save that, let's save it as, make sure it's a PNG. Alright, and then we'll out there, Control File. Uh, this one here, yeah. No, I didn't open it. <laughs> All right, so I'll put this. Uh, I'll put this over here. Oops. There we go. And we'll open up Framer, which has its own asset folder. Right there, and replace that. Okay. So now we'll go to the actual software and grab my mouse real fast. Okay. Here we go. Studio, it's based on enemies. Oops. Sorry about my typing. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now all we gotta do is drag this box, or actually this is the wrong one. Sorry, not that one. <laughs> Down here. So we drag a box around each of the frames individually, or the first one at least. Spread this like that. There we go. Okay. There we go. And you can just copy the frame over and over. There we go. And you can watch it. So as you can see, he kind of like sits down. We have uh, a real simple, it's, it's a real simple animation. I tend to have a lot more trouble with uh, slower animation with less movement because every little imperfection becomes that much more apparent. But in this case, I think it worked out pretty well. You can see most of the, most of the, uh, um, the lines with like his legs and stuff, which are kind of weirdly shaded. Uh, they stay kind of consistent, so, uh, maybe less so on his left leg than his right, but um, you can also see there's some decent secondary motion in the uh, uh, hair, I guess, stuff. Um, so yeah, overall I'd say it looks pretty nice. And uh, yeah, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching episode 2 of uh, Let's Make a Let's Design a Game. Alright guys, never mind, I lied. Uh, we're not done, so I decided instead of continuing the series with the same animation or something, I would finish the animation uh, and then come back with some actual footage. Um, and so this the, the animation we're working on is basically the first thing you see when you see this monster. So if I run up here, he'll play it and then start chasing you. And I added a few frames at the end just to finish it up and I think it looks pretty nice. Um, a few other changes you might notice are you could take damage now, we have a little health bar at the top which is definitely subject to change, doesn't look very good. but. Yeah, uh, I also created an idle animation for the main character, so he kind of bounces up and down. Also, you can, like, apparate into smoke if you want, um, which will probably be something later, but for now it's just cool looking. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I'll just try to play the animation maybe one more time. Um, so you run up to him, and then he drops to his knees, and then his mouth splits open. And the idea is kind of that you you picture his eyes being kind of like um if I remember here his eyes are kind of here but then all of a sudden his mouth pops up at the top and it kind of uh changes your idea of what his 
actual head looks like, sort of. Anyway, um, and the run animation will also change. Uh, I'll probably redo it, honestly. Um, but I'll also change it so his mouth is open while he chases you. And it stays closed until he sees you. But yeah, anyway, that should do it. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, look forward to part three.